Hello and welcome to another Mesh Mixer tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial I am going to try and solve a problem for for uh, I, one of my users who sent in this file and basically it looks like they've used 123D catch to do a scan of a high-heeled shoe and they want to subtract that shoe from this dinosaur I guess to, to add the dinosaur to the shoe and maybe 3D print it. So what uh, what we're going to do here is try and, and get that to work because if we just try and do that with the current uh, models, what we're going to see is that it doesn't work. Uh, the models are kind of too broken for Mesh Mixer to know what to do, so let's cancel that operation. Um, and so the first thing I'm going to do is, uh, and actually most of this tutorial is going to be about cleaning up the dinosaur. Although the shoe has big holes in it, actually the shoe is in pretty good shape. So what we're going to do is select the shoe and hide it. And I'm just going to show you, in case you didn't know, uh, you can click this little bit here of this window and it'll pop out and that will let you switch between the two objects. Uh, if you want to rename the object in here you can double click. We can rename that one Dino. Uh, and if you want to hide an object you can select it and hit uh, Control V or, or sorry Alt V on Windows and Command V on Apple um, to toggle visibility of the selected object. So if the object is hidden you just pop this out, select it and hit Control V or Command V and it'll show up. So let's hide it for now and let's work on the dinosaur. So um, the first thing we're going to do with this dinosaur is we're going to sort of inspect it because I see some pieces here that look a little bit strange. So let's just drop in the x-ray shader. So to get to the shaders you select this little ball up here in the top left and then this is the x-ray shader and you just drag it on top of the model and now we can see through it. And what we see, in fact, is that there are some interior surfaces here, uh, and those we want to get rid of. We want to so those parts are actually separate. We want to we want to boolean them together. So let's drag back on our, our regular shader, and so to do those those booleans, what we need to do is we need to separate those pieces. So let's start the selection tool. So there's a hotkey for that. Just hit S, um, and then to select that this separate piece of this big mesh. Um, you can you can actually paint around, but it's that's a lot of work. So what you can do is you go modify selection, and then expand to connected, or hit the E key, and that selects the whole leg, uh, everything connected, and leaves the rest. And then we're going to use the separate tool, so edit separate, and that's going to make a new object from what we had selected. So we're just going to do that for these three pieces. Select exp expand to connected, edit separate. and now we have uh, the pieces separated of the dinosaur so we can boolean them in. But actually I see some other problems and so we're going to deal with those first so let's select these, hold down shift and keep clicking to select, we'll hide those and we're going to focus on this body part first because first of all there's a big hole in it so we want to fill that hole so we switch the select tool now there's a shortcut, I mean to fill this hole you can paint around the boundary but actually if you take the brush and just put it right close to the boundary and then double click It'll select that loop, and then you can go edit fill or hit the F key and fill that hole. And so now we've got that hole filled, so one problem dealt with. But there's another problem that's not so obvious um, unless you kind of know how it works, and that is that um, these pink parts here are actually inside out pieces of mesh. And if we drop in the shader again, uh, we can kind of see that they're a little bit twisted. Um, you can see that there's a there's sort of a double mesh there. Um, let's get that in the middle. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually just use the smoothing brushes to just kind of erode that part. We can select it and, and erase it, but it's easier to do the smoothing. So go to Volume Brush, and then um, when you hold down the Shift key in Volume Brush, you use this second brush. So the second brush here, there's just these three options for smoothing, and uh, S2 is the one we want here. So I'm going to hold down Shift and just scribble here, and you see that pink part is just going to fade away. Um, and if it's fading away too quickly, you can reduce the strength and then it'll take longer. Um, but we're basically just going to sort of erode those three glitchy parts. Um, and that, so now that we got rid of those pink pieces, we're back to a nice clean mesh. Um, and so now we can bring in those other three parts. So select them over here, hit Command V, they pop back in. And now we can do the booleans. So I'll take this. To do the booleans, you have to do multiple selections. It doesn't show up as an option until you do that. So I'll select the body and this leg, shift click. 
and then edits, Boolean union, and it's computed, computes very fast. There's actually very little feedback in the Booleans. You can just see there's a little crack here. Um, that's the only way you can really tell that it's working. If it's if it has a problem, these would be red. So basically, if you see what you what you saw when you started the tool, and it's just good, hit accept or A key, and they're going to be joined together. Um, and now there's a little hole there, but we'll deal with that later. So let's do the tail. Select select both pieces. Boolean union, accept. And now the tail is merged in. These things are changing color because they're getting face groups assigned to them, um, separate face groups. And we'll clean that up in a second. And so this is the last one we're going to do. But actually, I'm just going to point out in this one, there's kind of a problem. You see, if we turn on the wireframe, uh, on the rest of the, the dinosaur here, the mesh is kind of nice. There's lots of triangles. But this part here doesn't have very many triangles. It's uh, it's kind of kind of messy at mesh wise, and that's that's usually bad for booleans. So we're going to do is we're just going to select that. So make the brush, start selection tool, make the brush big and just just kind of brush that area. And we're just going to run a remesh command. Um, so remesh, you go edits, remesh, you just hit the R key. And what's like, what that's going to do is just clean up the mesh. And it'll preserve the shape as much as it can, but clean up the mesh. And I'm just going to drag this up to add some more triangles. And we'll accept that. And now we've got lots of triangles to do Boolean, Boolean union. Oh, we don't actually. So you see here, this is not quite enough. Um, it's a bit glitchy. This isn't going to work. So uh, there's two things we can do here. One is we can add more triangles to the remesh. So we just select all that stuff, really crank it up. And that might work. Yep, that's going to work. Um, so because you see the nice cracks around the edges, you know, it's going to work. But the other thing we can do just for reference, um, is that we could smooth away some of this so that it's inside. So if we start the smoothing brush, um, and we just paint, so now only the gray part is selected. So it's going to shrink as we as we brush it. And if we just shrink away some of it, then uh, that's going to deal with the problem there also. So we'll, try, we'll use that one. OK, and now, so one thing we can do with these funny colors, we can get rid of them. You select the whole thing. Go and modify selection, clear face group, and we get back to the gray mesh, all one object. OK, so now that we've got uh, the mesh uh, sort of all joined together as a single object, you can see if you drag the shader in there that there's some interior contours. We don't have those interior surfaces anymore. Um, things are, are getting better. Now, this is the one thing here is that these parts, they weren't quite aligned. Usually, this happens with Booleans on, on smooth surfaces. It's a little bit ugly. So what we can do is we can go in with Volume Brush uh, and S2. And actually, it's to do this cleanup I'm going to do, it's actually often works better to use S1. So S1 smooths out or smooths outward, while S2 smooths to kind of flatten. S1 is called Bubble Smooth. And so we hold down Shift to so use Secondary Brush. And it's going to kind of smooth out outwards around those creases. Um, so that's going to make sort of nicer looking surface there. So we'll just brush around everywhere, and we get a kind of nicer joint on the tail there. You could, you know, make it even bigger if you wanted to fill it in, you know, as much as you feel like editing the models with the sculpting brushes. Um, whoops, it's very touchy there. Zoom. Okay, so now we've got a sort of better looking dinosaur here. Um, one other problem that I, I've sort of noticed, so I'll we'll cancel out of this tool and we'll see hit escape to cancel out. And you see there's a hole here in the tail. So we want to clean that up. So first thing we'll do, we'll use that double click to select around the boundary and run a fill operation. And that's just going to basically delete that part. But it's going to close it off. Um, so there's really no, no automatic tool to fix that tail. But what we can use, we can use volume brush. And the, the drag brush here will let us kind of make a new tail in there. So you kind of have to play with the camera to get used to the right angle. You see if we just click and drag, it's going to erase that little sharp bit and make a sort of more tail-like shape. Now to make it get skinnier as we go along, we can switch to a different brush profile. So we take this pointy one. We'll see that as I drag, it gets pointier. And so we kind of make a nicer looking tail. And you can play with that to make it look better, but I'll just move on here. 
Okay, so we've got this dinosaur uh, basically cleaned up. So let's bring our shoe back in. And uh, we're going to do the Boolean. Now, before we do that, uh, you know, we need to clean up the shoe a little bit. So um, you don't have to fill all the holes, but you should, you know, you fill the major holes. So this big one up here, uh, we should fill that. Fill surface doesn't really matter because we're going to delete. These parts are not going to be kept. They're going to cost anyway. So we'll fill that one. And this one here, which is really close to the edge of the hole, uh, we definitely should fill that one. Um, anything really close, or sorry, edge of the Boolean to the boundary between the two shapes, uh, we should clean up those holes. Um, and so, so this might work now, but um, the Booleans, they're, they're a little bit uh, unstable. They can be. And so part of the reason for that is often that there's very big differences in triangle density um, that have to be sort of merged together. So one way we can, we can deal with that is to go into the volume brush and use this um, refinement brush. And so the refinement brush just uh, adds triangles where you sort of scrub with it. And you can control how many triangles with the strength slider. So this is probably too many. I want to pick a value that's going to sort of be sort of make the density on either side kind of similar. So it's a little bit higher here, but down here um, it's a little bit better. And so what we're going to do with this brush is just brush along uh, the sort of contour between the two shapes. And this brush will also clean up any little glitches in the mesh that might cause problems. Um, and so this is really the the best way to make the booleans work in Mesh Mixer. Um, okay, so we've gone all the way around. So let's go back to select uh, the dinosaur. Shift click to select the shoe. And then we go boolean difference. And everything looks good. So let's accept. And there we go. Uh, Boolean computed. And so we've got the hole in the middle, so in theory this should fit right over that shoe. Okay, but to make it sort of print ready, um, we're going to clean up, you know, some of this other stuff. So there's some floaters out here, so we can do a select tool and do lassoes just to delete those. Uh, you can also use the uh, inspector to do this, but this mesh, as we're, we'll see, has some other problems, so um, this is probably the easiest way to deal with that. Okay, so uh, we got rid of all those, so let's just check with the inspector to see what we've got. Now the inspector is going to show us some things. Okay, there's a little hole here, so we can just left click that ball, it's going to fill that hole. We've got a little hole down here, one on the bottom of the foot. Okay, so we're getting to the point where we're basically ready um, but we've got a few other problems here. Okay, so all of these pink balls, what those mean is that those are floating components. You see it's highlighted all the teeth. Those are because all the teeth are separate objects. So those aren't actually things we want to get rid of. Um, so we don't need to Boolean, or uh, and we also don't need to Boolean those in. Most 3D printing software can handle sort of overlapping separate objects. Uh, this one here you can see is sticking into the neck, so we'll clean up that one. And let's just escape. Um, so this is a sort of limitation right now with Mesh Mixer. It, it can't differentiate between a little hole and uh, a little floating component. So it identifies that tooth as a floating component, but it's actually got a hole in it. Um, so we want to keep that tooth. So let's select it, uh, use the E key to expand the selection, and separate it out um, as a separate object. And then we will hide the main body. And we'll see here there's a little hole in it. So we can just double click near that hole and fill it. Um, and now we get our tooth back. And then we can bring everything back in. There's actually a hotkey for that. Shift Command V will show all. So we don't need to do anything. And we can just combine those two again. Um, and now there's one more over here you can see. So we'll separate it out again. And oops. Select that guy. Oh, I can't tell where to click exactly, so we can use the inspector. That's uh, another easy way to uh, get the good selection for a whole fill. So shift control V, bring everything back in. Uh, select both things, combine them. And now 
uh, we've got this dinosaur cleaned up. Oh, there's one more little thing there. I didn't see that one. Um, let's just have a look. I don't know what that is. Oh, so there's another little thing there. It's a floating piece, though. It's not connected to anything else. So um, what we can do, actually, is select the rest of the dinosaur. Oh, that's not going to work. Let's zoom in really close. Uh, oh, that's the back face. So one thing you can do if the selection is, highlight isn't showing up, it's because it's back facing. So you check this over here, allow back face. So we'll just do our expand. So I selected and expand. You can't see the highlight. Uh, if we rotate, you can. But let's just hit X to delete that piece. Um, and there we go. So I don't see any more glitches. Uh, so this file, I'll just save it again. Uh, this file is good to go. And so uh, that's it. So that is uh, a bunch of ways to sort of clean up models for doing, uh, especially for doing big booleans. Um, often to do booleans on these, you know, scan meshes, you need to do a bit of preparation uh, to get everything to work. So uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.